Hello, my friends. Welcome back. My name is Nina Tulio, and I am the business education ambassador for Oligo Professional. Listen, today is a hot topic. Are you ready? Should you close your books? I get so many questions about this all the time, and I have the same answer that I'm going to tell you that I tell them. When it comes to closing your books, it depends on what you're trying to accomplish. I typically do not recommend closing your books. If you are still looking to grow your business, if you are still an active hairstylist, if you're still looking to elevate your guest experience, elevate your brand, elevate your business and scale, I definitely don't recommend you closing your books at all. And I'm going to give you a solution to that in a second. However, if you were like me, when I was a salon owner, I was transitioning from working away from behind the chair. So I went from four days to three days to two days to one day to zero days behind the chair. That would be the only time that I would recommend that you close your books is if you're shifting away from behind the chair completely, you're looking to cut back if you're an owner and you're looking to focus more time and energy on actually, you know, growing your business and spending time with your team, then I definitely recommend maybe shutting your books down in, in that sense, because the end goal isn't for you to continue to grow and scale your own business behind the chair. It's to scale your business right on a larger scale. So let me hop back to my stylists that are still growing, still, you know, really wanting to build a thriving business. When you put on your Instagram, like on your bio, on your Instagram or on your profile, and it says books closed, what kind of message do you think that's sending to your clients, potential clients, right? It's showcasing that, well, she's so booked and busy. She doesn't need my business. Well, I guess, you know, it's too good to be true. I guess I can't, I'm, I'm never going to get in with her books are closed her or him, of course. And it kind of can come off like, well, are they too good for me? Are they too good for me to be their client? I guess they don't need my money. You know, these are all of the things that can come off and you may not even want it to look that way, but that's the way that it can come off sometimes. Right. And then on your end, on the backside of it for you, your business is losing and shedding clients 10%. That's happening no matter how amazing you are, how talented you are. It's just 10% of your book is going to shed. People move away. People go see other people. People are snowbirds. They live in two different places at different times of the year. You're just going to shed clients. It's natural, right? And so when you start closing your books, and I've seen this happen many, many times with stylists, they close their books. And then in three, four, five months, they're in panic mode because now they're 60, 65% booked when they used to be 85% booked, right? So if you are so booked and busy, I wouldn't necessarily put up the X and say, close books, send out emails. My books are closed. I wouldn't do any of that. I would create a wait list and I would put your clients in order on your wait list. If you have a point of sale system where they can do that, um, like schedulicity that really helps. They have a wait list, um, tab on their, uh, booking software. You can add people to your wait list and explain to the client coming in. I have a wait list. It looks like I'm booking out, you know, two, three weeks, whatever that looks like for you. But I will call you if there's an opening and keep an active wait list. Very important to do that. Instead of saying, I'm sorry, I'm not taking any clients. Judy may be the perfect target client for you. And now you may have turned her away, right? The other thing that you may have to do is reevaluate your pricing. If you're booking out so far and also reevaluate the types of services that you want to offer. If you're consistently two, three months, 85 to 90% booked, and you're booking out three, four, five, six, seven weeks, you may want to reassess. You may want to niche down. You may want to specialize and just really reassess the types of services that you're offering. So that is my advice when it comes to closing books. I definitely don't recommend doing it. There are other ways that you can get around that. You don't want to be the hairstylist that closes their books. And then three months later is in panic mode, right? So those are my tips. I hope that they help. If you're looking for more information or need to reach out to me, please find me on Instagram at Nina Tulio and check out all the amazing education, free education and paid education that Oligo Pro has on their website. There was always something really cool happening. Um, 
especially with the free education that they're sharing every single month. So oligopro.com, check that out too. And I will see you next time. Thanks guys.